Migraine is recurrent headaches, moderate to severe intensity. The pain usually affects one side of the head, and are pulsating in nature. Aggravated by physical activity, and associated with nausea and light and sound sensitivity, photophobia and phonophobia. Migraine attacks are a complex brain event that unfolds over hours to days, usually from four hours to three days. In a recurrent matter, the hallmark of migraine is the pain one side of the head. Even the word migraine is from the Greek, hemicrania, which means pain in half of the head. Greek word hemicrania later was converted into Latin as hemigrania. And finally, into French migraine. You may hear about aura, before migraine headache. But the most common type of migraine is without aura, 75% of cases. Aura is second phase out of four the phases, presented in migraine attack. First phase is prodrome. Around 77% of patients suffer prodrome symptoms and they occur up to 24 to 48 hours before headache onset. Prodrome symptoms include Frequent yawning is the most common symptom. Mood change, restlessness, sweating, excess energy and light sensitivity. Or opposite symptoms, lethargy, unusual fatigue and feeling cold. Prodrome symptoms associated with hypothalamus activation and correlated with dopamine activity. Second phase is aura. Aura is presented only 25% of cases. It can precede the headache or it can present simultaneously. They are typically gradual, with less than 60 minutes of duration, more often visual and fully reversible. The most common visual symptom is the scintillating scotoma, which means an area of absent vision with a shimmering or glittering zigzag border. Visual field defects also common. Sensory auras are also common, it usually consists of tingling sensations on one side of the face or a limb. They are considered paresthesias. Aura is correlated with changes in cortical function, blood circulation, and neurovascular integration. Third phase, headache. Often unilateral, generally with a pulsatile or throbbing feature and increasing intensity within the first hours. Headache can be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, photophobia, phonophobia, rhinorrhea, lacrimation, extremely sensitive to touch called allodynia, and fear, dislike or aversion to smell or odors which is called osmophobia. Headache phase can last it can take place over hours to days. Patients may have to seek relief in dark places, as the pain usually resolves in sleep. Fourth phase is postrome. Common postrome symptoms include fatigue, nausea, dizziness, difficulty concentrating, and euphoria. Migraine attacks commonly are triggered by environmental factors. Almost in 80% of cases there are triggered presented before migraine attack. Trigger can be almost any activity, but most common and proven are stress, hormonal changes, such as menstruation and ovulation, skip meals, weather changes and lack of sleep. Migraine has some genetic bases, because two-thirds of cases run in families. Also it may have connection with sex hormones. Because before puberty it's more common among boys, but in adulthood it is more common among women, furthermore, migraine is more prominent before menopause. After menopause symptoms lessens. It's not clear exactly what causes migraines. It is believed that a primary neuronal dysfunction leads to a sequence of changes intracranially and extracranially, which causes migraines. According to one theory, it has something to do with inflamed blood vessels in the brain. The way in which the brain processes pain signals may play a role too. Treatment When migraine is mild to moderate, without nausea or vomiting. NSAIDs Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, aspirin, or acetaminophen. In more severe cases, 
Triptans, the first line in patients with allodynia, sumatriptan, elatriptan, rizatriptan, almatriptan. With or without naproxen for moderate to severe attacks. Triptans should be limited to less than 10 days of use within a month to avoid medication overuse also cardiovascular risks. Antimetics, metoclopramide, chlorpromazine, prochlorperazine. They are generally used as adjunctive therapy with NSAIDs or triptans to decrease nausea and vomiting. In patients with cardiovascular risks, the best suited medication is a selective serotonin 1F receptor agonist that does not produce vasoconstriction, lasmiditin. Calcitonin gene related peptide antagonists, rimegepant, uppergepant. It could be considered in patients that don't respond to conventional treatment or in those with coronary artery disease. Ergots, ergotamine and dihydroergotamine, being this last one the only one recommended for acute attacks as a parenteral administration. But it can have significant side effects. Dexamethasone can reduce the recurrence of early headaches, but does not provide immediate relief of headaches. Prevention. Preventive treatment agents are the following. Beta blockers, metoprolol and propranolol, especially in hypertensive and non-smoker patients. Antidepressants, amitriptyline and venlafaxine, especially in patients with depression or anxiety disorders and insomnia. Alternative treatment. Alternative treatment. Changes in lifestyle, regular exercise, yoga, relaxation training, cognitive behavioral therapy. Reduction of triggers, detoxification, butterbur and melatonin. Prognosis. A migraine is a chronic condition that can revert to episodic migraine in 26 to 70 percent of patients. Prolonged remissions are common, However, some patients have a pattern of leaving and returning to chronic states. The severity and frequency of attacks can diminish with age.